Hello everybody, Fanny Snaith, Certified Money Coach here. There are so many confusing thoughts about going to university, student loans. So I thought here what I would do is I'd bust a few myths around it. I originally did this, um, showed this presentation at a freshers day at a local university. There are 150 students in the audience and I said to them, look, I'm going to go through how student loans work. If you completely understand how your loan works, we'll just skip over it, right? And go to the next section. So put your hands up if you know what, know how student loans work. And about two people, two of the students put their hand up. So I went through it and this is what I said to them and I'm hoping this might help you. It's just very short and very quick. First of all, the first thing to consider when you're thinking about going to uni is the price versus the cost. The price of going to university is that you're going to have to pay the fees and living expenses or get loans for both of those things. Essentially, when you come out of a degree, you're going to have around a £50,000 debt. That's the price. But what's the cost? Are you going to have to pay back that full £50,000? Well, let's have a little think about that and let's see what the facts are. So the facts are basically that you don't start paying any of your university loans back until the April following you, uh, April in the following year that you finished your degree. So there's a little bit of a gap there. And then you're only going to start paying it back once your salary is £26,575 a year. If you're earning less than £26,575 a year, you pay back nothing. When you reach that level, you start paying 9% on anything that you earn over that. So for instance, if you earn £27,575 a year, i.e. £1,000 more than the threshold, you'll pay 9% on that £1,000, which is £90. And then you'll pay another £90 for each incremental thousand on top of that. So you'll see that if you earn a reasonably low salary for a good number of years, you're probably not going to be paying back an awful lot. Some people get confused because when they see their loan agreement, and it is quite frightening, and they go, well, the interest rate on this loan is 5%, 4%, 6%, whatever it is, and think, oh my God, this loan's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It is, but what you have to think about is how much you're earning, you're, you're going to be earning as you know as you go on to see whether repaying it off is going to, whether you're going to be paying all of it off. So for instance, if you're earning, say, 30k a year for years and years and years, which obviously we hope you're not because we'd like you to be earning more than that, you're only going to be paying 9% on the difference between £26,575 a year. And by the way, this figure moves every so often. So it's gone up since it started. So I think it started off at about 22 k a year. So you're only going to be paying off at 9% on every thousand over and above 26000 575 pounds a year that salary threshold is going to actually go up to 27,295 pounds a year in April 2021 so let's just go over that again if you earn 27,000 pounds a year in a year what do you pay the answer is 38 pounds 25 because 27,000 is 425 pounds above the threshold of 95% and 425 pounds, 9% of that is 38 pounds 25. If you earn 35,000 pounds a year, you're gonna pay 758 pounds 25 because you're 845, 8,425 pounds above the threshold and 9% of that is 758 pounds and 25 pence. Do you get the idea? So don't be panicked. If, you're, if you or your child has not got a job that is very highly paying, the amount that they're going to be paying back is really quite short, quite small. And guess what? If there are any um, job gaps, i.e. you stop working, your child stops working, the payments stop too, which is amazing. Okay, so the payments stop too. And the other part of it is that after 30 years, whatever is left of the loan is wiped off.
it's just wiped it's written off it's gone absolutely gone how amazing is that good eh and really the last thing that i wanted to say is she wants to try and change the slide is that having a student loan will not go on your credit history so unless you choose to tell somebody that you've got a student loan it's not going to show up on your credit score um, which is a good thing now this is these are the basics around student loans my personal view is that um, having a, a debt a psychological debt of 50,000 quid where where it is I think it's a horrible thing to have to have I don't think it's uh, even anywhere near as important as your child going to university or you going to university if you want to because the chances are that unless you've got a really high paying salary, many people are never going to pay back their loans. There are loads and loads of calculators and stuff online. There are two websites that I would recommend to get more information about this. And there's, I mean, so amazingly shown on the Martin Lewis Money Saving Expert dot com um, website. I mean, it really is good. There's a whole student section. And then if you go to the page student loans, tuition fees, charges, it's all there for you and then there's another website that i would also recommend for all students which is called save the student which is absolutely fantastic so have a look at that i hope that you found this useful as a first thing send this to your friends if anybody any parents are saying look don't go to university because the debt's so high please show them this video because it really isn't worth putting a halt on our education for a student loan that they may may never pay off and if they are earning such amazing salary that they are paying off more every year then it's still worth it right because the university degree or the university education will probably have helped them get there so i hope that's been helpful um let me know if you've got any questions